Time to get started back on the uh, door on the Galaxy. We're supposed to get a ton of snow. They had a winter storm warning out and all the schools in southeast Michigan are closed. And we got like maybe an inch or two of snow in a few spots, but most places no snow. I mean, yeah. They predict these snows and then we never get it. I went over it with the angle grinder with this uh, disc on it. And I see one door ding right there. And I think that's it. That's the only door ding in the whole door is right there. So well, uh, I'm going to go over it with the uh, orbital with the dual action DA. And, uh, and we'll start putting some putty in it. Door is bare metal. I'm going to start putting a little mar glass or, you know, that fiberglass filler on the corners and sand, hand sand out here and I gotta sand this edge I don't know if that shows up this edge here and uh, then why this is drying I'll sand the filler on this side lightly so what I did here was I what I call finger bondoing I just took the bondo the body filler mixed a little bit up and then just spread it around with my finger in one of those gloves and uh, the less sanding the better so it's just like a film just to fill a pits in that uh, mar glass that fiberglass dur glass or whatever it's called and I did uh, put a coat on the other side I don't know if I showed that I want to let it dry overnight I'm gonna let this dry overnight and uh, give it a fine, give this a final sand probably tomorrow, and then give the other side a rough sand tomorrow. Maybe see how it looks. Yeah, we're finally getting the snow they're talking about. I don't think it'd be good to put the galaxy out in this. Took the lights down off the garage too. We had a warm day. I didn't want to put the ladder against the siding and crack it when it was really cold out. But yeah, looks really beautiful out with the snow stuck and everything working on the door some more today this is day two or three i don't know but anyway i had a i hit this out with the air file and i had a really high spot so i cleaned out the filler and bumped it in and then refilled it so this is basically starting over i just want it to look nice that's pretty much all ready for a little body filler um but while I was waiting for filler to dry, because I like to let it dry overnight, I pulled out the back seat. I was going to pull this trim panel off in there to repair that rust hole there. And uh, there's no build sheet in this part of the seat. It's still in pretty good shape. That's as I pulled it out. And this is as I pulled everything out. Let me get a light and let's go through and see what's in there. Well, I guess I need to get the garbage can over here. There's a sock, a straw. There's the, I'm wondering where the body plug was for there. Um, seat belts, nasty old sock, a nasty old sock. Some type of paperwork. I'll take that out and fold it out and see if we can't see what it is. That's part of that paperwork. Foam, foam. More of the seat belt, more foam. Need to get a shoehorn. That's to fill. Let's see, I don't know what the camera's looking at. I wasn't looking at the shoehorn. Thing to fill basketballs, um, popsicle sticks, straws. Yeah, these need to, I'll take these out and clean them. And uh, paper bag. Some more paperwork. It looks like a receipt to something. A key. It is unlawful to duplicate this key. Does that show up in there? Anyway, that's what it says on this key. It's a best. And it says 4G. I bet you that was an apartment key. Probably an apartment 4G. Let 
pin, screw. All right, I'm going to get the, this is that wiring that was terminated over here in the silk plate. I'll just take that right out. There it's out. There is some wiring here, and I'm wondering if that's what it was connected to for the rear speaker, uh, part of a light bulb. And these are the bolts that hold the backrest in, which I'm about to take out so I can get this and this off so I can uh, get into that panel. But anyway, I'm going to clean this all out, bring the garbage can over here and get the vacuum and clean everything out like a curtain hook or something. More of that piece of paper. I want to see what... Uh... That looks like about it. Well, there says something back here. Refill type A automatic transmission fluid. That must be off the power top pump fluid. So I'm going to save that. I could probably stick that back on the pump. And... Uh... I'm not going to let anything happen to that. So there we go. There's the inside of the... under the back seat. I'm going to take this... that I'm going to make new. I got that walking foot sewing machine, so why not? You can see these are the bolts back there. Oh, let's see if I can... There. That's what holds the top on the back. That steel round thing with those bolts in it. So we'll get this all apart and uh, I'm not going to take the top off until I'm ready to fix the rust around that back channel because this helps keep the interior a little cleaner while I'm working on the outer body. Yep, that sticker went right there. So that was off the top pump and uh, it actually looks like it's in pretty good condition, the top pump. There's the part number and some stamping numbers. I don't see anything else on it, but it's a heck of a lot cleaner and nicer than ones I saw at a swap meet for $40 that were guaranteed to work. So looks like there's a bolt right here. There was another one just like this that was laying in the pan down on this side though. I wonder what these must have done. Something to hold the seat in. Maybe right here or something coming in. I don't know. The seat just, once I took these bolts out, the seat just dropped and came right out. But yeah, that's in really good shape. I'm going to vacuum it out and uh, pull this uh, trim panel. No build sheet in this part of the seat either. They did add a speaker. That's what these wires here obviously went to those other wires. And it's not even the correct speaker, so I'll just take it out and discard it. I'm not going to put something that isn't correct to the car back in. Um, I might repaint this piece and clean this chrome all up. The chrome's in really good shape. It just needs a good cleaning. This is stainless steel. That'll buff up. But I'll clean the seats really good before I put them back in the car. You can be sure of that. Cleaned up really, really nice. Nice, clean, solid floor pans. Everything looks really good. I see fluid in the convertible top lines. The hydraulic cylinders are right there. A little surface rust on that piston. I think I'm going to clean them up before I try and run that top up and down and uh, but I'm gonna start pulling this panel right now I took this panel off and there's no build sheet or anything in there this was the plastic that was behind the uh, trim panel here and there's nothing here so maybe it's on the passenger side but um, got my little uh, flex light here, bend a light, and I'm gonna take a look down in the quarter panel. I got all that trim stuff off. I gotta take this off to get into there, I think. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna give me access to where the rust is, but let's just take a look down in here just for the heck of it. 
and that's all nice and clean. Let's take a look in the quarter panel. That's nice and clean too. No surface, there's just dirt and bits of the weather stripping from this right here, this stuff right here is down in the bottom of the door. I'm replacing all that, but I can see the wiring that goes through the wire channel or probably to the tail lights and the sending unit and the gas tank and stuff. And you can see the window regulator, which I'll give a good uh, lubing. But I think to clean that cylinder, top cylinder, maybe just pop it out of there, I don't know. I'll take a look at it. It looks like taking it out might be the easiest solution to cleaning the piston. But, um, yeah, I just want access to that when it's rusted out in the rear quarter, and I just can't. Spider rubs and stuff in there. It's all in pretty good shape. There's the wheelhouse, as you can see. So that rust would be down in there. Like, just forward of where the light's shining. Because there, it's in front, right at the end of the wheelhouse. So I think I can get in there if I need to, to from that side. Um, but yeah, there's no way here from here getting in access into that part of the. Whoops, my trouble light just fell. But that's in super nice shape. I'm really happy. Nothing, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. There, get some light in there. So, all right. So maybe I'll pull some of that back. This back here, so I can. On, it's just held in with some screws. I'll undo a few and see if I can get in there and and uh, have access to that spot in the quarter panel. I don't think pulling this is going to do a hill of beans of good because I can see on the other side of it and I can get right down in there and clean the bottom of that out because this is part of the adjustment for the window. Although I don't know if that will. Effect. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't want to take things apart and then, then that be able to adjust it good. I'll take a look at what those bolts. They're in elongated holes, so that tells me that that's something adjustable. And uh, maybe that'll just stay attached to this. I don't know, but I want to clean the inside out of the quarter panel there eventually, you know, before I put the car back together. And there's a little bit of a leak on the hydraulic line right right there. Maybe it's just, just loose or something, I don't know. But I think I'll just take the hydraulic cylinder out and we'll, uh, we'll tend to that. These, all these lines are available if I need to replace them. The leak I don't know if that shows up in there or not, but I can't tell if what the camera is looking at, but it's the hydraulic piston that is leaking. It's just not possible to get the camera in there. But anyway, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna obviously have to take the hydraulic cylinder out to either reseal it or replace it. It's definitely leaking and I'm sure the other one's going to be no better. Oh yeah, look at all the rusty that that piston, it's, that rod is. So it's not leaking but there's no way I can run that in and out without cleaning it. So both cylinders need to come out and uh, I guess seeing it's leaking, I could at least see if the top pump works. So maybe when I get all the stuff off the roof before I pull these cylinders, I'll see if I can run the top a little bit. But yeah, I hope I can get, you know, rebuild these and don't have to 
spend money on new ones, but we'll take care of them, whatever it takes. So I just took a look in the door, and those are for the window stop, which stops that, and that looks like it could go down another half inch anyway, you know. So I'm going to take this panel off, and uh, that way I can get inside there, and I guess I'll take the the bolts out, hold that mechanism in too. It looks like there's a pin right up here, right there. So anyway, we'll figure this out and get things apart. And uh, well, before I'm not going to take that apart now, but eventually. That stuff that was in the floor on the back, this, I don't know, it says something that on, I don't, it says, out all wrinkles as Looks like side that smooths curtain is free from, I can't tell what that is, it's T-E-R-I-A-L, but there looks like there is letters before it, and then it says comma, you will, and then there's nothing more, but then down here, I mean, I'll just let you read it. I think that was a ticket, dry cleaning ticket for curtains. This is another parking uh Thing. Again, the same place as that one and the other one I found. And I think this was uh, photos. It says prints. This was under the back seat too. Got like a girl there in yellow and blue. And if anyone knows, can fill me in on any details on what this is, awesome. Um, it says something about re many something reprint and your blank and number something. So anyway, I'm pretty certain this was from photos. That was a I'm pretty certain is a dry cleaning ticket from curtains. This I have no clue. And this is another one of those parking things, and I'm just gonna throw this stuff away. It's just beyond. Saving. I am going to save this parking ticket in that quarter, and I save the other one, and I'll put them in a little envelope, uh, Ziploc, little tiny Ziploc bag, and save them with the car. You know, it's just history on the car. So anyway, I just thought some of you might be interested in what I found under the seat. A couple more things I found in the car. A 1974 quarter. Whoops, that was under the the uh, back seat. And another one of these parking for the same parking lot, but no in and out. But it does have a 3 62, which I think is different. And it's stamped between the 5 and the 6. So, anyway, just thought I'd show that. All right, I think I got in there to where I can get to that part of the quarter panel, but these screws hold that boot thing in and five of them are missing and it looks like a pretty unique screw so Bill or if any of my viewers have a whoops I'll have to hunt that up have a parts car convertible parts car that um you want to part with five of these let me know but now I can see I don't know Maybe it shows up, but you can see the light up in the quarter panel or the trouble light. So I can see if I get a fire going in this quarter. This is the rocker panel. That is actually part of the rocker panel. And then the skin just kind of goes over it. And then part of the inner wheelhouse here is rotted out from about right here down to here, right to there, I'll have to have to replace. So I'll cut, after I make a cardboard template of this, I'll cut this out, and then I'll fix the inner, and I'll make a template of the inner before I cut it out too. And then I'll make the inner piece, and then I'll make the outer piece and put it on, and uh, I'll get this fixed too. I think, you know, this is, this is like the biggest rust hole on the whole car. And I want to show you the convertible top channel. It's in pretty darn good shape. There's where I kind of stuffed the light down in that part of the wheelhouse there. 
All right, so these are these are where these screws go. I'm just going to screw that back in so I don't lose it. All these bolts and that trim is what holds the convertible top on in the rear. You can see into the trunk now. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gutted out there. And uh, But now I can... You know, now I can go to town on that quarter panel. I feel good about that. So I think I'm going to start making a cardboard template right now. I decided I'm going to sand out the door jam. <laughs> i got to get the striker off. And uh, get that ready to paint. So if we get a nice day, I'll paint the door jam. And the door will be ready for paint. I'm sure by Sunday or Monday I can paint the jam side of the door. But I wanted to pull the carpet back here just a little bit just to see what the floors look like inside. Now, give you a little peek. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, super nice floors. That little plug thing has a little surface rust on it, but the rust is solid as a rock. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to kind of Give a little peep of that. Some of that sodden deadening, you know, looks like it's starting to peel. I'll clean all that up and paint everything up so nothing rusts. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the uh, scotch pad on the Dremel and start cleaning up these spot welds in this corner right here. And then maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll start working on that. But maybe tomorrow I'm not gonna work on anything. Um. I got other things going on, but um, maybe Saturday or Sunday or Monday. We'll see. We'll get get tearing to that soon. The bottom looks pretty good. I'm gonna sand out these a little better. I gotta sand the, all the jam out a little bit better, and I gotta re-drill the holes here like this over here, and. Uh, I think it's going to look pretty good. You can see the metal. That filler is very thin. You can see the metal through it in a lot of places. Um, it looks, I, I think it's going to turn out nice. I'll put some uh, zinc chromate primer on it and uh, some sandable primer and give it a sand before I paint it. It's the bottom of the door in the door jam, you know, you don't see it. But I still want it to look good. It doesn't take that much effort. That makes it look a little better until I get the uh, paint on it. I'm going to put sandable primer over that, but like I say, i got to drill some holes. Um, I think it's going to look amazing. I'm calling it a day. Got quite a bit uh, done. Pretty happy with the progress. So if you like my video, hit the like button. If you want to see this neat old galaxy finished up, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.